So OpenAI just launched a major update to its developer platform. The chat completion API now includes models with web search capabilities. They also introduced the Responses API, which enables built-in tool calls like web and file search. This means models can now retrieve real-time information without relying on external tools. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make web search-enabled API calls to both the chat completion and Responses APIs. And if you stick around until the end, I'll show you a trick to call web search-enabled DeepSeq R1 models through the OpenAI API. But first, let's talk about pricing. For the smaller, 4.0 mini model, inputs are only 15 cents per million tokens, and outputs are only 60 cents per million tokens. For regular 4.0 search, the per million token price goes up to $2.50 for inputs and $10 for outputs. Jumping into the code, you'll notice that using a web search model through the chat completion API is essentially the same as calling any other OpenAI model. First, import the OpenAI module and set your API key. Then, create a client instance and use the chat completions create method to interact with the model. Specify the web search enabled model, either GPT-40 search preview or GPT-40 mini search preview. Then pass in a message. When you run the code, you have a few options for output. From the choices array, you can specify message content, which gives the results along with inline citations with URLs. You can separately pull the cited URLs by specifying annotations. Now, let's explore the Responses API, which introduces built-in tool calls, including web search. To use this feature, import the OpenAI module and set your API key. Then, create a client instance and utilize the responses.create method. Specify the model, such as GPT-40 or GPT-40 mini, and define the tool's parameter with the web search tool, which is now web search preview. Finally, provide your input query. When you execute the code, output text provides the complete output from the model. You can also separately extract just the annotations. While OpenAI's models have recently integrated web search capabilities, this feature isn't entirely new to the OpenAI API client. For several weeks already, Perplexity Sonar models, which include web-enabled versions of Llama 3.3 and DeepSeq R1, have been accessible through the OpenAI API client. The code is essentially the same as what you would use for the OpenAI models, except you swap in a Perplexity Sonar API key and change the base URL argument to api.perplexity.ai. Then change the model name to a Perplexity Sonar model in Chat Completion Create. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more tutorials on how to leverage the latest AI models and tools.